thank you. Tonight we're hearing from a South Florida cab driver who was viciously attacked. The ambush was caught on camera. CBS 4's Joan Murray talked to that driver. She's live near Fort Lauderdale with the story. Joan. Elliot, well, after being choked and punched, the cab driver managed to drive to this parking lot at Northwest 31st Avenue. He says he's still scarred mentally and physically, but has to keep driving to earn a paycheck. <laughs> A taxi camera capturing a terrifying attack. A robber punching a driver while his cab is moving. When I feel I'm almost dead, I don't, that guy is not coming. He is not. He's coming to kill me. That driver, Roosevelt Jean Paul, thought his life was over. He took the seatbelt. He tried to hang me with the seatbelt. It was 2 o'clock in the morning, May 9th, when he says he picked up two men at this gas station on Northwest 31st Avenue near Fort Lauderdale. One man got out, but the second man, he says, first tried to sell him a computer. He said to me, you don't have any money? I said, no, I don't have any money. When that didn't work, John Paul says the man tried to choke him with his seatbelt before taking off with $300. When you try to do like this, I just feel I'm dead. You see what I'm talking about? I do like this. All right, now he punched me in my face. He was very scary for him because that's his first time incident ever happened to him. Jean Paul's wife says her husband missed two weeks of work. He got swollen and uh, bruises all over, so he had no choice. The attack has left Jean Paul feeling less safe on the road. I'm scared to drive it, but the point is, you know, that's the only way I can make a living. It's not safe, you know, because. Apparently, if he wasn't like, didn't know how to, to defend himself, he could have died. And Jean Paul tells me this attack has left his vision not what it was. If you know anything about the guy you see in that surveillance, give Broward Crime Stoppers a call. It's 954 491 TIPS. Reporting live near Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.